from Metal Gods TV. I'm with Mr. Vinny Moore. Hello there. How you doing? Fantastic. By the way, I just shaved. My beard was twice as long. You know, I had to shave it all off. But tomorrow it'll be back. <laughs> so you're here with the UFO? Yeah, we're playing tonight. Uh, we have just five dates in the UK here. We started yesterday. Barely made it to the gig with all this snow business going on over here. Snowstorms everywhere. Flights canceled. Uh, thought I was going to miss the show last night because I came in from America, from Philadelphia. But managed to get in time and then uh, made the show. So I'm happy to be here. Great stuff. And you've been doing some of your own thing uh, lately as well, haven't you? Well, I had a new solo record come out called To The Core. I think that came out last year. And I did some solo touring earlier in the year this year. And I've uh, been out a lot with UFO. And we're also writing songs for a new record so it's been busy 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 and uh, you've got a, a Dean Guitars endorsement at the moment how did all that come about I've been with Dean like three years now and uh, I know Elliot Rubinson the owner and I've known him since actually in the 80s I met him and he used to own a chain of music stores called Thoroughbred Music and I used to do clinics for him. In fact, one of my first clinics ever was at one of his stores. He got out of the retail side of the business and, you know, bought Dean guitars and brought them back to life. And, uh, you know, I just started talking to him and it felt like a good move. I mean, the guitars play great. I really liked them. I liked the way they sound. And it just seemed like a natural fit to go with those guys because they're really good, you know, with promoting their artists and they're really good to to their artists in general so great stuff and uh, what ca what advice can you give to uh, future guitar players out there what, do, do you advise them to start with a Dean or I would say get a turntable man and start scratching that <laughs> shit out yo. um yeah I mean they make some guitars that are inexpensive some imports that really play nicely and you know that's the thing when, when you first start out I mean the guitar I started out with was a piece of crap and the action's so high, it's so hard to play, and it hurts your fingers so badly that a lot of kids get discouraged, and they, they're like, this isn't for me. But if you get a comfortable guitar with low action that plays easy, doesn't hurt so much, I think kids are more inclined to stay with it. So I would say, you know, get a decent guitar from the very beginning instead of fighting with some piece of wood with some ropes on it. And, yeah, Dean definitely has some stuff that fits that bill. Great stuff. And did you take any lessons, or were you self-taught? I took lessons for about five years, four or five years, with a couple private instructors, and I got lucky and found a guy who was a really, really good player from my area, and he taught me a lot about, the, you know, technique, music theory, a lot of exercises, and he turned me on to a lot of cool music that I wouldn't have heard otherwise, so I was really fortunate to find this guy. So. And what, uh, what style of guitar from Dean have you got? I mean, this is the sort of more classic shape. The Deceiver. <laughs> My guitar is called the Vinman 2000, and it's more of a super strat. It's a Stratocaster type guitar, but more high tech. It's got the Floyd Rose, really high frets, maple fingerboard, and uh, it's made of altar, and it has a really nice top made of uh, maple. And, you know, it looks really nice, and it plays really nice and sounds good. Yeah, I mean, people say to me that they like the Deans because they, they t they'll take parts from other places, you know, like they don't u necessarily use their own pickups, but they'll get the best for the job. They do get other pickups like EMGs, I believe EMGs are in this one, but they also wind their own pickups. In fact, my guitar has a signature pickup that I designed in conjunction with the guys at Dean. It's called the Shredhead. And then it also has two DiMarzios in it, too. So it's a Dean and two DiMarzios. So, yeah, they're really flexible. So what's on the horizon for you as a solo artist now? You know, the first thing is to write some new UFO songs and do a new record. And we have some shows in America starting in May of next year. So that gives us some time to do the record. And then I want to do some new stuff. I think this time I'm kind of leaning towards doing a vocal record, you know, maybe some guest vocalists as opposed to doing just another instrumental solo record. I've done like eight of those and, you know, I'm really getting inspired to write vocal songs and I've come up with a lot of new stuff and that's not necessarily right stylistically, musically for UFO that, you know, I might venture off and do my own solo thing with vocals. It was well received though, your solo stuff though, wasn't it? Really well received. It seemed to be, you know, I couldn't ask for more, you know, to be able to go out there on the road and play shows and the comments and feedback I've gotten from the record have been really positive and yeah, that's always a good thing.
And finally, have you got a message you'd like to give to the people out there? <sighs> what do I want to say? <laughs> Rock. I, I don't know. <laughs> Rock on, keep shredding, and there you go. Have fun. <laughs> All right, man.